hey YouTubers, um, you ever open up your browser and then all of a sudden you're getting redirected or you're getting pop-ups and you don't know what's going on. You can't seem to remove the, the virus um, or in, in that case it would probably be some type of malware, spyware and AVG is not removing it and you're just having a tough time. But you have another user that's not affected by the same thing. Well, there's an easy solution. If you don't have any programs that you're really concerned about, you can technically go and just delete that user. Yeah, just go on to go on to the other user account, and when you get on the other user, uh, go on the non-affected um, user. Go into Control Panel like I'm doing here. Scroll down to to the user accounts, and then. You can uh, click manage another account and you'll see all the accounts here now let's say you are infected and you don't have another user account there is another way um, you could actually um, go into the command prompt and you can type in this command right here and that user administrator active yes and hit yes and if it works that's that's a good deal for you. If it doesn't, I'm going to leave a, a link in the description below. Go visit my other video, and I'll show you how to get past that. But for now, let's go back to what we were looking at. So you're, you're having trouble. You, you One of your users is infected with, with some type of malware or something. Well, let's just pretend computer here was the infected one, and I'm now on Ed. Well, which technically I probably am. So I'm on Ed. So computer is infected I mean I don't have to show you it's hypothetical let's just assume computer is infected well I'm gonna click delete the account okay um, and now I got an option delete the files or keep the files if I click keep the files when when I come back um, when I come back on to Ed the, the files should be saved here they may not show up right away so you might have to restart your computer and come back and the file should be there um, but as you can see computer file is actually right here so it's showing up and anything you had saved on computer would be your documents anything like that so um, they'd all be there but that, that's just a quick way of getting past it and if all of your users are infected go ahead click on the link before or below in uh, in the description learn how to open up the uh, user the uh, secret administrator which shouldn't be uh, infected and you should be able to delete um, all the users and then while you're in there w while you're in the uh, let's pretend that um, let's pretend that we were in the administrator and we already deleted the accounts um, if you're not sure how to, how to do it, you go to Control Panel, go to User Accounts, and then you would just create before you exit the before you exit the um, administrator account. You want to create another account because now you don't have an account anymore. So uh, just uh, click here. It says Manage Another Account, and then uh, you can create a new one. Click Create a New Account. This will pop up. Put the account name in there. I'm going to put Computer again. And then you can make it a standard or administrator. I would suggest administrator because it's always nice to have um, uh, the natural ability to do whatever it takes. Because if you just have a standard user, you'll get blocked from doing a lot of things. It'll get a system error 5, um, which is something that's covered in the link below too. And then you click create account. And then, uh, then you'd have computer. Yeah, that's an adorable little cat. Um, and then after that, the only thing you'd have to do is go back into the command prompt, um, put the same same exact uh, put the same command in there. I'm gonna right click. I'm gonna run as administrator, and uh, I would type the same command as before, except this time I do active no net user administrator. active is no and then 
once I click no, it should say um, the command completed successfully and that would be it. And then you can restart your computer and your new user will be available and you should be cleaned up. If you're not, then you were really seriously infected and your administrator account was infected. So um, that would not, that would definitely not be a good thing. But I don't know, leave me a, leave me a uh, comment below and uh, if you have any troubles. I'll be more than happy to help you through it. All right, thanks. Bye.